Hello, YouTubers. My son Ren and I are near Preston, Idaho. It's negative one degrees Fahrenheit. And we are going to show how we polar align this scope. All the sacrifices that we make for YouTube. So the, the first step is just to turn on the reflex sight, the red dot pointer that's attached to the main part of the telescope, not to the moving arm. And then we're going to point that at the North Star. <coughs> now that the sea star is polar aligned and your phone is connected to it, go to the main screen of the sea star app. Click on the name of your sea star in the upper left corner of the screen. Click on advanced feature at the bottom of the screen and make sure that skip horizon calibration is off. Then go back to the main menu and choose Stargazing. Using the virtual joystick and the red dot finder scope that is attached to the moving arm of the sea star to point it at a bright star to use as an alignment star. Northern observers should point at a bright star in the northern celestial hemisphere and southern observers should point at a bright star in the southern celestial hemisphere preferably a star that is well above the horizon and one that is not too close to the celestial pole. Since we live in the northern hemisphere, we chose Castor, a star in the constellation Gemini, as our alignment star. Once your alignment star is in the sea star field of view, autofocus on that star using the icon that says AF on the right side of the screen, then place your alignment star a little bit left of center for northern observers so that it will be centered in a few seconds when we sink. Then click on the Big Dipper icon in the lower right corner of the screen which takes you to the Sea Star Sky Atlas. Then click on the magnifying glass in the upper right corner of the screen to access the search function. Then type in the name of your alignment star then click Center next to the search results for your alignment star. This takes you to this star in the Sea Star Sky Atlas. Then hit the Sync icon at the bottom of the screen. Then the app says, changing Sea Star's current pointing position as, and then it will have the name of your alignment star. And then you'll say, Yes. Then the app says, Sync succeeded. Then the app should take you directly to stargazing mode. If it doesn't, then back out to the main menu and go to stargazing mode. Then immediately hit the red record button at the bottom of the screen. This will force the sea star to perform the three point calibration, which it inexplicably calls the horizon calibration. When this calibration is 100% complete, the app says, return to origin. The telescope then, inexplicably, points to a random place in the sky, and the sea star speaker says something like, couldn't find object. Do not despair, just hit cancel. From here, you can navigate to objects of interest, just as you do in altitude azimuth mode, by backing out to the main menu and by choosing one of tonight's best or by going to the Sky Atlas to search for an object of interest. In this video, we chose the star Capella in the constellation Auriga and it successfully went to that star. 
The current version of the Seastar firmware restricts you to observe only half of the sky. For northern observers, equatorial mode allows you to see only the stars in the northern celestial hemisphere, the same view of the sky that you get from the North Pole. For southern observers, equatorial mode allows you to see only the stars in the southern celestial hemisphere. For now, if northern observers want to view an object in the southern celestial hemisphere, such as M42, the Orion Nebula, you'll either have to use altitude azimuth mode or polar align to the south celestial pole. You could reverse the direction of the red dot finder scope on the sea star base and point it at the north star and then bingo, you'd be pointing at the south celestial pole. You could have, you would have to figure out a way though to point the sea star below the horizon because the sky watcher wedge will only allow you to point the sea star above the horizon. All the way hot. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 